Hey everybody, it's Addie Broyles with an Austin 360 taste test and I have a special guest today. <laughs> Nell Carroll is the director of photography here at The Statesman. Um, and she is going to help me try out some kale chips. I'm a little frightened, I've never had a kale chip before. Never. Ever. Mm -mm. So Rhythm Superfood is an awesome company. They were one of the first ones to have um, kale chips available at grocery stores. I mean, I think this trend started because people were making them at home. And then now they have figured out how to sell them or make them so that they're, they're shelf stable. Um, and they have new flavors out right now. One is um, Zesty Nacho and the other one is Honey Mustard. And I think we should probably start with the regular first. Okay, I, I, will, go, I will go boring and too exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is not what a, a homemade kale chip tastes like. What are, what are homemade ones? I mean, this is this is okay. Yeah, I mean, it's got a bunch of stuff in it. It's covered in um, it has sunflower seeds, tahini, carrot, apple cider vinegar, cane sugar, onion, sea salt, and lemon juice. When I make kale chips at home, it's just olive oil and salt. It kind of reminds me of like Lipton soup mix mixed with kale. That is a really good you way know? to describe it. <laughs> yeah, and I don't know if you can see it. I mean, it's like this little. I don't know it. it there's stuff. Yeah. And I don't, so anyway, so now we have that as our base. Now let's try some of these other flavors. I'm gonna go for a honey mustard next. I'm terrified, but yes. <laughs> so kale chips at home are actually really light and delicious. These are dense and um, dry. It's, it's almost like dry beeswax or something. The way the, hmm. Not as strong of a honey mustard flavor no. as I was expecting. That's not bad. I mean, that's right. not bad. I mean, if I were going to go for a honey mustard product, I might not pick these first, but, yeah, you know, I certainly would probably... More mustard than honey, but mm -hmm. you would try it out, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I think this would be good... Put that down, I don't know. <laughs> I'm ready to have some more. Um, <laughs> maybe if it were mixed into some kind of trail mix, maybe? Mm -hmm. That's the best oh, idea. Oh, that's kind of an interesting idea. I think All right, so that. now nacho. Okay. Nacho kale chips. Nacho <laughs> mama's kale that chips. seems so wrong, doesn't it? Nacho kale chips. Yeah. And not, not just any. <laughs> I just got They're this. zesty. Oh, zesty. Okay. Ooh, this is a big one, guys. How zesty is this going to be? You just would never even know that this was kale. No. And that's what I like about kale chips is that it's really light. They're crunchy. They're certainly not potato chips, but... Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. I think I like the honey mustard best. Okay. Um, but I'm not sure I'd go grabbing this off the shelf. Right. Well, so Nell is growing kale this year. First time ever growing kale in the garden. I'm told it's a great winter, mm -hmm. you know, thing to do, mm -hmm. and I've got it coming up like gangbusters. They're about this tall. Oh. And so, will you teach me how to make real kale chips? Absolutely. And um, we've run recipes before for kale chips and chips made out of beet greens and chard, because mm -hmm. any leafy green you can mm -hmm. sort of bake lightly. You do it between three and 400 degrees and do it for 10 to 20 minutes, depending mm. on how hot your oven is. But um, I've got both of those. I've got beets and chard growing as oh, well. Oh, wow. Well, maybe we'll have to circle back and do a homemade <laughs> kale chip video. <laughs> uh, well, great. thanks so much for being brave enough to try this with me. I appreciate it. Yeah, no sweat. It was an experience. Join us next time. <laughs>